Okay, so in this video, it's gonna be a little day in the life type video with the apprentice. We're just doing a small tiling job and we got our bits and pieces to do, so stay tuned and follow along. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So first things first, just picking up the apprentice. Let's see if he's on time today. So I've told him I'll get him at half six. See, I told him I'll get him at half six, so let's let's see. on time today <laughs> so the apprentice is actually on time today with two minutes to spare good job guess he's back then <laughs> good job so it's half six I've now got the apprentice we've got to go skip because I've got on some unloading to do because I've been on a few jobs but yeah we're going to do some unloading and then we are going to get straight to our job of doing a little bit of tiling little bit of tiling okay so me and the apprentice have got the van load <laughs> okay so me and the apprentice have got the van loaded up with a bunch of materials and scrap from other jobs that we need to take to the skip we saved a bit of money on getting a skip throughout our job so we've had to go get the materials and we just got to take it to the skip ourselves and then we are going straight to our job but before that we are going little because we didn't get breakfast we didn't make breakfast this morning i didn't make breakfast and he didn't make breakfast so we're going little getting some breakfast and lunch for the day so yeah and then we're just gonna go to the skip after yeah. I'm you get to get me to Apprentice decided to leave my keys, my van keys, in the shop. Oh, you got them? Where were they? Where did you put them? Um, on the counter. On the counter? Is that where you're leaving my van keys now? <laughs> okay, so we're just at the skip now. Emptying unloading the van at the skip so yeah we'll get that done now So we're just on the job now with the apprentice. We're gonna get settled and start unloading the van and get all our tools out and then we'll get cracking. 
okay so this is the little area that we tiled okay so we need to take up these tiles clean it down so it looks like they've used mortar sand and cement to just secure it so we need to take all of this up and then get set up to put the new tiles on but yeah we'll get that sorted now This is the area now we're gonna have to clean it down start trying to get it somewhat level so here it is now We've got all the cement and everything off. Well, most of it. We've got most of the cement off and everything, but it is still it is still fairly uneven. So what we're gonna have to do? We're gonna have to butter the back of the tile. We're gonna have to butter the back of the tile and then place it on and then level it up. And then we're gonna have to put some adhesive down to try and just level up all the voids as well. But yeah, we don't have time to render it or put, we can't put south level on this area. So that's what we're gonna have to do. Put some adhesive down to kind of level it and then just put at the back of the tile. To measure, you can either use a tape measure, yeah, mm -hmm. and measure it off and then transfer it onto the tile or you pull it up against where you want it yeah because i think it'll look better a lot better having all the cut pieces at the back yeah okay so we're gonna have all the cut pieces at the back you know what i mean yeah, yeah? so we're gonna bring it forward yeah mm -hmm. have the four ones at the front and then just put the cut piece at the back yeah yeah so pull it in line with the tiles at the front yep pull it in line with the tiles at the front and then mark it mark to the edge of the wall yeah mm -hmm. and then to the edge of here and then pull it flush against it here again it's running a little bit out but Put the flush against it again and then mark it again so it goes just underneath it as well okay and that's your mark so you put that there and that across that down and then that across and then that's what you need to take out yeah you got it mm -hmm. okay so i'm going to transfer that across the lines across and then mark it out okay so we've got the tile cutter out now Okay, we've put the water in the side. Here's the water. We've put the water in the side. And obviously, okay, so this one is a very old tile cutter, but it works well still. Okay, so what I'm doing first is I'm doing all of the cuts. Okay, so that's the cut I've just done. Now, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's flush with the end here. And then there's a little bit of an overhang when it starts to run on the side. There's a little bit of an overhang. Let me try and get you a bit closer. So, as you can see, there's a little bit of an overhang here and it gets flush here that's because the fireplace is out so what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to take a little bit more out of this part here just a little bit out of there and then i can have a little bit of room to play with all right yeah 
the castle title. Now it is a hundred percent flush with the edge. I've done the cut now, and it is as you can see, it's a hundred percent flush with the edge, and it's a hundred percent flush with this edge here. So that's the first cut done, looking very nice, and as you can see, it's scribed in very nicely as well, and at the other end very nice okay so we're going to do that for all of it and then we will get it sorted okay <laughs> what i'm doing here is getting it prepped and cut i'm going to get all the tiles cut and then after that's when i'm going to start putting the ad adhesive down and getting it all leveled and everything I can't really do it. Okay, go on, mark it now. Jeremy? Mark it? No, I don't know. I just showed you on that one, mark it. No, because I'm going to do it wrong. The, and then I'll correct you if you do it wrong. Whoops. <laughs> you can't record this. I'm going to look at it here. You're learning. Teach me, yeah. I, show, I just showed you on that I completely one. completely forgot. Hang on. You completely forgot? Yeah. So you wasn't looking properly? I was. Okay, then. You pull it flush. Think about it. Yeah. It needs to be like this way. Okay? It needs to go in. It needs to be flush with the bottom. Okay? It needs to be flush with the bottom. So think about it. Come on. Nah, hey, well, I've just tried to work it out. Where do you cut the tile? What, what bit needs to come out? Tell me what bit needs to come out. Is it? Which bit needs to come out? No, that bit. Yeah, that bit needs to come out, yeah. And it needs to go flush against the front. It needs to go flush against the front. So turn it around. No, no, don't turn it round. Turn it round? No, 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 no. You've marked. Okay. You've marked where it needs to land, okay? You've marked how far it needs to go over, haven't okay. you? Yeah. Now, you just need to mark the depth. <laughs> I don't know what you are. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, Please okay. Me. I, I just showed you on this one. I've literally just showed you on this one. When you move it over, where is it got where's the tile gonna land? If you do if you mark it from the back, where's the tile gonna land? I'm clueless. You're clueless? Yeah. Why? Okay, where where do you need to mark the tile? There? Okay, you've marked it there, yeah. So there? You've marked it there. And then yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So go on then. So mark that, mark the other measurement then. How do you know? Huh? What, get this? No, 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 oh, you don't need that yet. Okay, mark it. Okay, basically how I just done it. How I just done it. Literally do it how I just done it. How did I just mark the other tile? I don't know. You saw, you saw and you said, okay, I get it. I've just done that a thousand times. You go like this. And you go like that. Okay, but when you mark it here, if you pull it to the back, yeah, and mark it here, yeah, yeah it's gonna move over. That's a good thing. It's gonna move over, yeah. Yeah. And then what, what, you just want me to put a tile here as well? Oh, no, okay. You want me to put a tile there as well? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got it. 
You got it now. <laughs> so you need to push it. You need to pull it flush with the front so it can move over. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Now you feel stupid, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna demonstrate a little bit how to do it first, okay? So the blade is going this way, yeah? yeah. So the blade's going that way, so it's going into it, yeah? So it's coming into it, yeah? Okay? You turn it on, hit underneath the green button, it's gonna, some water's gonna fly out at you a little bit, okay? So you turn it on, Okay. And then get your line set up. Don't put your hands anywhere near it. Okay. And then literally just cut it. Push it forward and cut it. Okay. You got it. Mhm. Mm okay, the green button obviously needs on. Yep. Take it out first. Good. Don't need on, don't put too much pressure on that or snap. Safety first. <laughs> nah, <No>, upside down. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Wash your hands. Yes. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, now to the other side. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in. A little bit of water on top so it stops it smoking a little bit. Okay. Okay, now I'll just go again. Now, not following this line, following that line. Okay. Okay? So you're going up. Okay, so we've decided to do this option. The customer, I asked the customer what he wanted and because he's got a dome type fireplace coming in, he wants to keep, he doesn't want a joint there and he doesn't want a joint there. So we're gonna keep them as full tiles and we're just gonna fill in the middle with another tile. So I'm gonna measure this point, measure this point mark it cut it and we've made sure that these are both parallel and they are the same measurement top and bottom so gonna get that cut then do the back row and then that will be sorted Okay, so right now I'm just adding the tile adhesive. Just putting the tile adhesive on. I'm using the Vitrex tile adhesive spreader, six millimeter square notch. And I'm using the ready mix. So it's ready to go. So I've leveled it, I've got the highest point and I'm working from the highest point and I'm just gonna level the tiles to suit the highest point. And that's what I'm doing now.
Okay, so the apprentice is just packing up now. He's just finished off the floor tiling. He's, I've let him put the adhesive down. Let him do. I've let him do the majority of this job, and he's done a fairly decent job, to be honest. He's put the spaces in. He's cut all the tiles correctly. He's marked some of the tiles as well. So, yeah, he's done a fairly decent job, and he's just packing up now for the floor. We did bring dust sheets. We have got the dust sheets, but the customer came in and said we don't have to use them because the floor is coming up anyway. So that's why the floor looks a mess. We wouldn't usually leave the floor like this and we wouldn't usually get any mess on the floor. We will usually put dust sheets down and get it all on the dust sheets, but because the customer came in and said it really doesn't matter and the floor's coming up, that's why we didn't put our dust sheets down. But yeah, we are just gonna go and get materials for our other jobs and then we need to come back tomorrow and finish off doing the grouting. And that will be everything for this job. <laughs> okay, so we've just finished off our job now, packed up and everything. Now we're just gonna have our lunch and then go to the shop, get some materials for our other jobs that we are gonna be doing. But yeah, nice. Now we are at the garage conversion. And the plaster is getting done. Yeah, it's looking very nice. Okay, so this is our last job. The apprentice is putting a bed together for one of our customers. And then this is the final job for today. But yeah, it's been a fairly productive day. We got the tiling, went, got some materials, went to one of our other jobs to see what's going on there. And now we are putting a bed together. Oh, damn it, boy. So yeah, but yeah. So once that's done, we'll be going home. Okay, so we're just finishing up now. We're finishing at about round about half five. So it's been a decent day. 6 a.m. Round about half six till 5.30 p.m. And yeah, is that a good day? I've got him to do most of the jobs today. He's done the whole of the tiling. We just need to go back and grout the rest. And then he's also done, put a bed together, done a little bit of flat packing that I didn't, wasn't able to get on video. And yeah, so decent day productive day and he done well today to be honest but yeah it's been a good day so okay just to show people the level so the tiles are all level i don't know if you can see it properly but as you can see the bubbles in the middle tiles are level going this way still level <sighs> The other side still level in the middle and it is level well I'm running off a little bit oh no it was just on the brickwork and it's still level so all of its level so we know that we've got it truly level and it's correct even though it's a small area and a fireplace is going to be covering most of it we still do it level
the apprentice has finished now and this is the final result of it of the tiling okay you can go on my instagram to check out some pictures of it but yeah that's what the customer wanted and that's what he's got so yeah check out my instagram to see some pictures check out my tiktok to see how much i charge for this job and yeah that is everything well done you done good today thank you oh look at me look at me now a smile <laughs> that is the deadest smile ever. <laughs> what? Okay, that's the better one. If you want to see more day in the life type videos, then make sure you drop a follow and a subscription. If you sub, it shows that it's worth it basically to carry on doing these videos and do more videos like this. So if you like it, just drop a sub, a like, it helps out a lot and yeah see you on the next one thank you goodbye